let's have another question regarding earning per share. A limited net income is 115,600 and had 200,000 ordinary share in issue outstanding at the entire year. The Sahara Sal unke number of shares outstanding rahe. During last year, A limited issued 600 bonds of 1,000 each per bond, 7%. Bond ka jo rate hai, interest rate hai, was 7% hai. Aur aapne 600 bond issue ki hai, 1,000 rupiah ka ek bond hai, to ye 6 lakh rupiah banta hai, at par. Each of these bond is convertible to 100 shares, ordinary shares, and the tax rate is 40%. So clearly, it is a convertible bond. So when you convert them into shares, and the ratio is given that for each bond you have to issue 100 shares. So total bonds are 600, and you multiply by 100, so it comes to 60,000 shares. And re earning interest is 7%. So 7% of 600,000 ka banta hai 42,000. Isme se aapne minus kar dena hai tax which is 40%. So basically, let's work out it. The basic earning is very simple. 115,600 divided by 200,000 which comes to 0.578 per share. Potential CRR converted is numbers 600 by 100. So that comes to 60,000 shares. Increase in income. 600,000 ka 7% le aur usme 60% uska le le the 25,200. Now the total earning will be now 115,600 plus 25,200 and the numbers are now 200,000 at the beginning and you have issued another 60,000 so total comes to 260,000. So the earning, diluted earning is 0.541. Now compare the two. Basic is 0.578 and now diluted is 0.541. It's reduced. Now there is a test basically. The reduction should be how much? Usually we call it 5%. If your earning per share reduced by 5%, so we say the diluted earning per share is supposed to be recorded. In fact, in this case, if you work it out 0.77, 0, 0, 7, 7, uh, Isko agar aap divide karenge 0.578 se wo 5% se thoda sa zyada hai. So it means ke aapko ye dono report karna padengi basics bhi aur diluted earning per share bhi. If the diluted earning per share is greater than the basic earning per share, the convertible bonds are anti-dilutive and should not be treated as an ordinary share in computing the diluted earning per share. We are talking about earning per share. In case a company got lost, so we need to work out the loss per share also. So in case of loss, if it is diluted, it means the loss will per share, instead of decreasing, it will increase. So this is how basically diluted earning per share is calculated. Thank you very much.